It's you, girl. The internet hope. And for today's vlogmas curls, of course, it's the New Year's. Happy New Year, bitches! I swear 2023 is like the year of Pagigi Mashi So 2024 will be the year of more Mashi And also, speaking of Kashikipan, of course, we're gonna be doing a rundown of the best of 2023 for the makeup and skincare. And just heads up, super dominant. I'm like, wow, so many products have stand out this year, especially when I'm looking at it. It's like a mix of local and international. Pero nangyang iba boy local. Medyo lumalaban yung local makeup mga curls. And also mga curls, ngayon lang ako upload ng vlog for the best of 2023 kasi we're gonna be doing a giveaway kasi muling bubuhayin ko si Decluttering Curl this year kasi matagal ko siya hindi na open. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing giveaways of all the excess makeup that I have and also skincare. And don't worry, nag-declutter din kami. Tinapo naman yung mga panis. So we gotta make sure that our giveaway is pristine. So be sure to follow Decluttering Curl kasi we're gonna be having a giveaway there and we're gonna be posting there soon. So yeah, that's gonna be like a monthly giveaway. You can get free makeup and skincare. And of course, Mall Curls, in case you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification icon so you're always notified. And lastly, Mall Curls, I'll be leaving all my social media links over here. So without further ado, Mall Curls, let's get started! All right, Mal, so let's start off first with makeup. I have all the products in front of me, and heads up, bibili sa ko lang to kasi sobrang dami. Makeup pa lang to, but I got skincare over there, and it's a lot. All right, so I want to start off first with primer. So far, pagdating sa primer, there's two primers that stand out no 2023 na lagi kong ginagamit. This is the Elf Power Grip Primer. I like the pink one compared to the green one. Mas gusto ko to. Then second, I have here. This is the Get Ready with Me. All about that base makeup prep squad. So these are my top two primers of 2023. I swear I've used it on concert. It's traveling, they make my makeup stay on so long. All right, so moving on to foundation base makeup, I got a lot here. So I want to start off first with this one. Bago lang to pero sobrang pasabog nito. This is the Lovely Cosmetics Beyond Blur Skin Illuminator. If you're looking for that illuminated look like this, na parang it gives you a healthy glow, na parang it almost looks like filtered, pero it doesn't accentuate your texture. Sobrang ganda nito. I'm in the shade medium nga pala, and it makes your matte foundation looks glowy, pero it doesn't make it feel sticky. I swear, I really really enjoy the formula of this. I have a lot of foundations here na sobrang like, enjoy ako this year. First up, of course, one of the best foundations this year is Izzy's Active Skin Foundation. I'm in the shade white before. Oh, I love this. It's just like skin-like. It gives you this glow. It's like a medium to full coverage. I really enjoyed this one. Second, I have here, this is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Girl, the amount of times I use this event and photo shoots, it makes my skin flawless. Na parang balat lang, tas it lasts so long. I really enjoyed this one. Pagdating sa shade names, ilalagay ko na sa description box para mabilis na. But this one, sobrang ganda na ito. Next, I have here, if you're looking for like a day foundation para sa umaga, like something that's like light to medium coverage, the very skin-like, and also has skincare benefits, I really enjoyed this one. This is the Kosa Skin Improving Foundation. I really enjoyed this. No summer, this is my foundation kasi ang gaan niya sa balatas. Meron din siya SPF, which you can put sunscreen underneath. Kahit meron na siyang sunscreen, it works really well with sunscreen. That's why I really enjoyed this no summer. Then one of the foundation that had a choke hold on me when it came out is this one. One. This is the Get Ready With Me Foundation. Girl, naka ilang months itong foundation. Kaya tinan mo yung bawas. Like, ito yung bawas niya. Kasi almost every day itong gamit ko when I'm going to concerts, errands, I've been traveling with this. I really enjoy this foundation. Super long-lasting, full coverage, and it feels very thin on the skin. Tapos it's very luminous. I really enjoy this one. Then next, I have an oldie but a goodie. A lot of people have been using this. Sobra old school na na ito. Pero oh my gosh, it's so good. This is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. This one is a full coverage foundation. It stays on the skin for so so long, tas it looks so good on photograph. Pero in person, mukha siyang balat. No nag Japan kami, this is my main foundation when we went to Japan. I really, really enjoyed this talaga. Alright, so moving on to the next foundation. Alam nyo, this foundation came out last year, pero I find myself loving it again. Kasi, no una, it almost looks orange on me. But then this year, di ba nagsilabasa ng mga shade correctors, mga shade shifters, mga ganun this year. I normally don't buy that kasi usually international brands yung gumagawa nun. But this year, mga local brands came out with it and thank God they did. Alam nyo, I highly suggest if morena kayo and then usually yung mga foundation pagdating sa website tama naman yung shade pero it just translates orange you know what i mean i would recommend this this is the izzy's color shifter this is the true flex adjuster just color white get it i know you're gonna be like morena that's white trust me babes this is such a lifesaver kasi ayun nga one of my favorite foundations na last year siya lumabas pero i find myself using it again this is the house labs foundation ayun nga i'm in the shade 330 i really like the shade kasi medyo basta nakikita 
ako may onting orange. Ben, nakailang bili na ako nito. Magkano nagastos ko dito? Parang tatlo na bili ko, pero ekis pa din. Sabi ko, you know what? Try nga natin yung easy na white. Tapos ginamit ko siya and yun lang pala yung solusyon. Haluan mo lang siya na white and you're good. I'm back to using this again. Sobrang ganda niya sa skin. It just looks like skin. Sobrang nipis. It's like a full coverage foundation but it does not feel like a full coverage foundation. It feels like serum. So I'm back to using this again. So haluan mo lang siya na white. Goods ka na sis. Like, I'm using it right now. It's so flawless. Last product pagdating sa foundation, alam nyo, I talked about this dati no October tapos ngayon lang nagiging viral. If you watch my vlog the last time, I already talked about this foundation. This is the Laura Mercier foundation. This is their weightless perfecting foundation. October ko pa to gamit. Nagpunta kami sa Hong Kong. Sober long lasting niya. It's full coverage. I really love this foundation. Tapos ngayon lang siya nagiging viral. So I was like, bitch, I told you. I told you. We were ahead of our time, babes. It's so good. I'm in the shade ginger. Pero medyo orange nga siya. So ayun. Again, if medyo no orange yan ka, just put this. You're good. Tsaka alam nyo, gusto ko lang sa easy adjuster nila. Kung ano yung formula ng foundation, hindi niya babaguhin. It's just the same. Alright, so we're done with foundation. Let's move on to BB cushion. I only have one this year. But it's the best. This is Choo Choo Beauty's Yummy Yum Skin Dewy Cushion. Let me tell you, this is the best BB cushion. Usually, pag mga errand day ko or like just grocery, I'm running errands, I'm using this. Sobrang nipis niya sa balat. Mukhang balat. It stays on long. Sa alam nyo, on top of that, ginamit ko pa nga ito sa concert ni Post Malone. Flawless. I love it. It's the best. It doesn't feel sticky and it looks so natural. Best formula pagdating sa BB cushion this year. It's the best. All right, Malka. So let's move on to concealer. Alam nyo, this year, 2023, there's only two concealers that I really like that I keep coming back using. Number one, Hourglass. The best ang Hourglass. Oh my God. I swear, it's viral sa TikTok for a reason and I use it up until now. Like, it just like gives you like full coverage. It looks like skin. Tapos, it does not crease. Basta, it's the best concealer. Yung skin tone ko, I use the shade Dune. Yung color corrector ko, I use Topaz. Tapos, yung brightening ko para if I want like a really bright under eye. I use the shade Beach. So, yun. Like these. I know it's expensive, pero bitch, worth the investment. Tapos, pagdating sa affordable concealer, I really enjoyed Get Ready With Me. This is in the shade Sable. At first, I didn't like it. Like, honestly. Ang technique nito, just let it marinate on your skin. Give it like one minute. Then you blend it. It's perfect. I really enjoy this concealer. Alright, Malco. So, moving on to eyebrows. Pagdating sa eyebrows, I only have three products. Kasi, this is my solid brow routine. First up, this is the Detail Cosmetics in the super fine liner in latte. This is the most universal shade. Honestly, if you have blonde hair, black hair, this is the best. Tapos, this is the Get Ready With Me Brow Lift Max. The way that this, I've been using no summer until now, I really like this. Tapos pagdating sa pen, hindi ako ma-pen. One of the products that I really use, na enjoy ako, this is Get Ready With Me Brow Pen Pro in the shade Taupe. Tapos, Easy has a brow pen in the shade Ash Gray. Yun yung mga gamit ko. Actually, sa Easy na wala ako. Kasi again, Naglipat ng bag. Hindi ko na mahanap. Alright, mga girls. Pagdating sa powder or setting powder this year, I'm back to using her again. Like, I don't know, man. She's back. I mentioned this like two years ago. Na favorite powder ko siya. That's how good she is. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking Powder Setting Powder. I'm in the shade of Blondie. I swear, of all powders, I swear to God, yung standard ko sa powder is so high. Ang arte ko talaga. Pag kunyari mag-set na ako ng powder, I just don't like the dry, crusty look, the crunchy look. I hate it. I really hate it. I just like the under eyes to be set and that's it. Like a clean look. Not crusty, not dry, no pores. Girl, get this powder. It's so flawless. It makes your makeup look so clean. Basta, it's the best. Like, ito. I don't know if I have a new powder. Hopefully, by next year, may some brand na makatalo na ito. But honestly, I will still keep using this. Maybe. This 2024. Alright, so moving on to the next powder. Actually, there's only two powders I like in 2023. I love this. Bitch, if you've been watching me and Instagram stories, you all know how I'm obsessed with this. This is the Mersey Stay Blur Loose Powder in Quite Sebum. It's just a clear powder. So, if you're looking for pang retouch lang, this is the best blotting powder. I really love this if you just want to remove the shine tapos it has the finest powder na para it almost feels like it's melting your makeup or removing the shine i swear get this this year this has been my retouching powder it's the best all right still in the theme of face of course hindi pwedeng mawala yung blush and 2023 was like a year filled with blush yung tipo kulang na lang mukha ko sinampal sa mukha ganung levels i actually have a lot here alam niyo pagdating sa shades i'll just list them down below kasi ang dami talaga yeah first off i have these blushes these are from spotlight alam niyo 
mark my words, I feel like this year, this 2024, I feel like mas magiging uso yung baked blush. Kasi since we're in the theme of like clean girl makeup, the aesthetic is almost to look effortless. If you want to look effortless, the best blushes are like baked blushes. Kasi hindi siya mukhang nakapatong sa skin. Mukha siyang pag nilagay mo kahit makapal, mukha siyang nasa ilalim ng skin eh. So, I really enjoyed Spotlight's blushes. They give that look. Even the Get Ready With Me baked blushes, my God. These have a chokehold on me. They look super natural. I swear, pagdating sa baked blush, they just look expensive sa skin. They don't look clownish. They just look, you know what I mean? Like parang ganyan, it's like melted sa skin mo na parang, it just looks expensive. Compared to like a normal blush na nilagay mo sa face mo, mukhang dry na clowny makeup. Pero sa baked blush, it just looks so sophisticated, classy, and elegant sa skin na parang, I'm healthy, but I'm like blushing, but like it doesn't look like I put effort, pero like effort ako, pero hindi. It's just so it girl vibe. So yun, baked blush, 2024, baked blush. Speaking of baked blushes, I also love baked bronzer and baked, basta baked. May hindi ka kong mabaked. Ibang klaseng bake yata yun. Charo. Super, I really enjoyed this Tevian Dighty Dust. I have the shade Girlfriend and I have the shade First Date. Normally, I use Girlfriend, but if I'm in the mood to just wear light makeup, yung tipong no makeup makeup, like as in no freaking makeup, I would use First Date. Pero these bronzers are so good. Actually, everything here is good, but I really enjoy bronzers na ganito, yung parang bake lang. Kasi again, it doesn't look like makeup and it gives you like a healthy glow. Na mukha talaga siya nasa balat mo, hindi yun nakapatong. Kasi I just hate that aesthetic. Like, yung parang almost natural makeup, but it looks kind of drag-ish. Like, if I want to look like a drag queen, I will put makeup on, but I don't want to look like a drag queen. I just want to look effortless. I love baked bronzers. And speaking of baked bronzer, the way that this bronzer is always being used, this is the Vice Cosmetics Light Up Tri Palette in Midsummer Nights. I always use this bronzer. Tito mo, bugbug sarado na nga siya eh. Sobrang gamit na gamit to, pero it looks so seamless, so expensive na parang it gives you like this warmth glow na parang it's not obvious that you try. I swear to God, local brands, if you're watching, honestly, make more baked blushes, baked highlight. Basta bake. We all should say goodbye to like blushes that looks clowny, na nakapatong. We like that sophisticated, na pag ginanon mo yung brush sa skin mo, mukha siya naka melt sa skin mo. Ugh, it's like butter on your skin. That's the vibe. I really love baked blushes. I'm like addicted to it. So moving on to blush. This is from Colorette. This is a matte blush in the shade Mochi. Hindi siya ano eh, baked eh. It's like a bouncy na jelly na blush but when you put it on your skin it gives the same look ng baked na blush na parang it looks like skin. Tapos ang ganda neto even if you have foundation or bare skin it does not remove the foundation. Sobrang ganda neto. So far though I like only the shade Mochi. Iba kasi masyadong dark. I like the light flush of color. Yung ganun. Alam nyo if there's only one brand that has an exception pagdating sa pressed blush na hindi baked that I always use this is the Izzy Desaturated Blush. I really love these colors. Alam nyo I'm so happy that they came out with these colors kasi no una launch nila, parang sobrang putok yung blush. Medyo hot pink. Wala masyadong natural na colors. I was like, hmm, there's only like one or two shade na gusto ko, but the desaturated blush, I love all of them. They're so good. So I was like, buti naman nag-release sila na parang more natural. Kasi again, hindi ako masyadong ma-makeup na parang creative. I like just a good, perfect everyday blush. My aesthetic is like, I wanna look like I didn't try. That's the vibe. Parang, yeah, I'm just naturally like this. Ganon. Alright, so moving on to highlight. Alam niyo naman yung aesthetic ko. I really like yung highlight na ka-melt sa skin. Hindi ko crunchy, hindi siya nakapatong sa skin kasi that's my biggest pet peeve. When a highlighter looks, yung parang tin foil, I don't like it. I really hate that look. It looks dirty. Alright, so for the first highlighter, it's so obvious na gamit na gamit siya. This is from Get Ready With Me. Tinan nyo naman. Basag na siya, sis. This is in the shade Tala. Ayan, I'm just gonna, yeah. The reason why basag siya, every time I go out, I always use it, babes. That's my go-to highlighter. Sobrang the best. My second go-to highlighter, this is from Natural Signatura Profile Highlighter in the shade Cappy. It's like a champagne glow. Bitch! This one also has a chokehold on me. And every time I wear this, and dami nagtatanong sa akin, ano highlighter mo? Always! Mid-conversation, they're always like, girl, nadidistract ako sa highlighter mo. Ang ganda. And then I'm like, oh yeah, it's natural. Like, babes, it's super affordable. It's the best highlighter. It looks like skin. Actually, I'm using it right now. Sobrang ganda. It just gives you like this skin-like glow. Ugh! So good. Next, I have color it. This is their color bounce highlighter. Again, it has that same formula like the blush, but this time with the highlighter. Babes, this looks like skin. It's so freaking good. I like the shade Snowflake and Flame. Ito yon. If you touch it, it feels like butter and then like 
Look at that. It just looks like skin. Ugh, sobrang ganda nito. I really like the color bounce highlighter and the blush. Misan nga pwede mo kasi i-mix it. Like parang you dip this and dip that and then put it in your face. Oh, it gives you the most luminous, expensive glow na parang it doesn't look chipanga. I swear, anything that looks like skin the makeup looks super expensive. I just love that look. And I'm pretty sure right now, since it's 2024, I'm pretty sure the blinding highlight is not a thing anymore. Come on, we left that in 2016. So yeah, let's just say that collectively for ever goodbye because it's not my vibe that I got. It's like, I don't know. I just don't like the look. Then moving on to the next highlighter. It's a palette. This is from Happy Skin Off Duty Highlighting Face Palette. Mukha siyang ganyan. Tapos akala ko, it's gonna be one of those highlighters na parang oof. Shit, it's like thin. It's gonna be like those crunchy highlighters, but no. Actually, it's super like skin like. I don't know. Hindi siya yung parang crunchy na blinding na highlight na parang mirror. I don't like that one. Like I said for the thousandth time, na hindi talaga mahilig sa ganun. Super ganda nito. So if you're looking for a different shade, meron siya pink, champagne, rose gold, tapos like a bronze one. This is your go-to girl. Alam nyo, this reminds me actually of the, remember the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette? Oh my god, 2016. Yung ganon, the shades. But this one gives you a skin-like finish as opposed to like the blinding highlight. So okay to. Alright, so moving on the to liquid and cream blushes and bronzers. For bronzer, there's only one. Yeah, shocking. This is the Stroke Face Sculpt in Cinnamon. I think this one came out like a long time ago, but this year, 2023, this is the only bronzer I use because it's the perfect tone. I also use She Glam. I think I mentioned that, but I don't know, man. Like compared to She Glam and this one, this is the perfect shade. I cannot seem to find another product that has this shade in Cinnamon. So Strokes, y'all did something with this one. It's so good. Tapos, pagdating again sa liquid highlighter, there's only one. One, and the chokehold this had on me no summer. I swear, no summer 2023, this was like my jam, babes. Always nasa makeup kit ko to and always suot ko to. Sometimes ginagamit ko pa siya sa collarbones ko na nagbibitch kami. This is the Get Ready With Me Glow Tint in the shade Paris. I really, really love this one. Moving on to cream blushes, I really enjoy the Get Ready With Me Milk Tint. Actually, I like, this is in the shade Cheesecake. I also like Pablo's Latte. Yun yung mga dalawa kong ginagamit all the time. That was this one. Oh my God, it's so fucking good. This is the Vice Cosmetics do it all. I like the shade Always Blushing. Tapos ang gamit ko ngayon is Always Fresh. I swear, if you put this on, it looks like skin. It doesn't disrupt the foundation. My God! It's so pigmented. Pero yung, alam mo yung pigmented siya na madaling i-blend? Hindi siya too much. I really, really enjoyed this one. Alright, mga girls. So moving on to lips, I have a lot of lip products. Akala ko, meron ako parang top 5 na nag-circulate lang. Pero nung nagtingin ako sa makeup bag ko, I'm like, oh shit! Ang dami pala. Alright, so I wanna start off first with lip liner. The best lip liner kung morena kayo and you want to look like naka-define your lips mo na hindi siya mukhang naka-lip liner, thank God this came to the market kasi I hate the look of, alam mo yung parang brown na lip liner sa lagyan ng gloss. It looks, I don't know, I'm sorry, but the brown lip liner with the gloss looks kind of icky to me. I don't like it. I like this one. This is Get Ready With Me in the shade 215 Coffee. It's brown, pero hindi siya ganun ka dark na parang chocolate brown na muddy tignan. It just looks like the contour ka na lips, like the J-Lo lips. You know what I mean? When she puts bronzer around her lips, tapos gloss and lipstick. Girl, this is the perfect shade. Hindi siya ganun ka dark. It doesn't look messy and dirty. I love it. It doesn't even look like you're wearing makeup. Pero sobrang defined. Tapos plump na lips mo. I love this. And you know what, mga Chris? Kasi ginagamit ko siya for a certain lip product. And you guys are gonna be so shook. Kasi nag-viral to eh. This is like the lip balm ng She Glam. I don't know the exact name. Pero ito yung dupe ng Tarte Maracuja. Babes, it's so freaking good. It's super affordable. And then naging go-to lipstick ko siya. I got the shade First Crush and then I have the shade Sepia Kiss. You know what? I'm gonna show you my lip combo kung paano ko to gamitin to lip liner. So yeah. Okay, nag-zoom in ako. So I'm using this one. This is Get Ready With Me. 215 lip liner look. I just put it on. See, look how defined my lips is. Pero hindi siya mukhang naka-lip liner. Yung obvious. It's like the perfect MLBB. See, it like contoured my lips, but it's not obvious that I have makeup. Ako. Then I use this one. This is the She Glam in Sepia Kiss. That's what it looks like. Para talaga siya yung maracuja lip ng tart. Ito yung dupe niya look. And look how juicy it is. Grabe oh. 
I love this. Tas hindi siya ano, considering our weather dito sa Pinas, I was expecting I would not like this kasi it will feel malaki like sa lips, but no. A little goes a long way kasi grabe yung shine niya. And then I'm just gonna blend it with my fingers. And voila, this is the lip liner and then sepia kiss. Sobrang ganda, di ba? Like, look at that. Sobrang juicy niya. Tapos you don't need to overline kasi sa sobrang glossy niya, it gives you this illusion na parang nagpalip injection ka. Kaya, just follow your lip line. No need to overline. Just put it on. Oh, it's the best. And you know what? Just for funsies, Let's try natin isang shade. This is in First Crush. So First Crush is more pink. And this will give you like the perfect pink glossy lips. Oh my, look at that! Babes, tapos if you have dark lips, it's gonna cover it. Tapos it's gonna look so shiny and perfect talaga. Like I swear, look at that. Like, it's dainty, classy, and glossy. Oh, I love it. The next sa mga curls this year, I really enjoyed velvet lipsticks. One of my very favorite lipsticks, wala ako dito. I think it's in my other bag. I can't find it. The Bare and Bliss Velvet Lipstick in the shade 01. I don't know what's the name. I'll just put it here. But that had a chokehold on me no summer. That's my go-to lipstick. It does not fade. Blurs your lips. But it's the perfect shade talaga. I really can't find it, but it's the best. It's Splashed Moment 01. I'm not sure. But but speaking of velvet lipstick, this has been my go-to lately. This is from Mersey in the shade V28. I'm gonna show you my lip combo that I've been enjoying lately. And I would say it's my top lip color for this year. Since the Pantone of this year is called Peach Fuzz, it's major peachy. Yeah. So the way I use this lip tint is ganito. Sobrang dark ng lip tints na mga Mersey, but I feel like this is the best way to use it. You just apply it to center na lips mo ganito. Ganyan. Then you just press your lips. Thus, you just tap it on your lips. Because it's so pigmented. Niya. All right, so once you tapped it on your lips, actually in person it's light, but on the camera it looks really dark. But in person, sobrang faint niya lang. My next product I would use, which I would say is the best lip oil for this year, Lovely Cosmetics. Y'all ate the shit up, bitch. This is in the shade Perfect. Perfect nga siya, be. This is the best lip oil ever. Hindi siya mainit sa labi, hindi siya mabigat. Sobrang ganda pa niya. Tapos, I love the shade. Yan, I just put it on top. This has been my go-to lip. Oh, look at that! Sobrang juicy. Oh, I love it. This is like the perfect color. Ayan. I put this and then this one. This has been my go-to lip combo. Then also one of the lip oils I use, sometimes I use this at gym. This is Lovely Cosmetics Lid in Big Slay. I know it looks dark, but on my lips, it just looks like a lip tint, which I really enjoy. Tapos, this year, Izzy came out with lipsticks. And let me tell you, if you've been following me sa Instagram, if you know, you know. My go-to lipstick sa Izzy is always Opus. Girl, I swear, it's a lipstick bullet. Tapos, sobrang long-lasting niya. I use this at gym. Pag makipag-mobol ako, yeah, it still stays on, babe. It's not transfer-proof, obviously, kasi it's a lip bullet. Pero alam mo yung, it transfers, pero it still stays on your lips. I really love this one. I love Opus, tsaka Fresco. This is like my perfect nude. Ito yung mga dalawa kong ginagamit. Like the chokehold this had on me no summer, no old packaging pa, bitch, I still use it. Like it's the best. Tapos si Opus is always my go-to minsan sa gym. Like I always put Opus. Yes, if you guys are gonna be asking me like, um, why do you wear lipstick sa gym? Because I want to, okay? If you look good and feel good, you do good. So, yeah. Lagi ako nag-aayos because I don't care. Now, I actually care for myself because fuck other people. The next one of the biggest trends in 2023 was always the glossy lip tint. And one of the glossy lip tints that had a chokehold on me this year, get ready with me, bitch. This is so good. I like the shade Strawberry Chaka 24-7, if I'm not mistaken, 24-7. Yun yung gamit ko sa Post Malone concert. And if you're wondering why I don't have it, ayan, sa kakalipat ng bag, no, wala ko. This is Strawberry, tapos yung C24-7, medyo dark siya onte. Pero it's like a mauve color. So good, I love this. That was moving on to the next lipstick. This lipstick has a choke hold on me in 2023. Every time you see me with a natural lip color, 9 out of 10, it's this lipstick. This is the Dazzle Me lipstick in the shade Encourage. I swear, this has been my go to lipstick. Misa ka sa photo shoot, kanya rin may makeup artist. May makeup niya ako. I'm like, can you use this lipstick on me? Yeah, babe. Even if the makeup artist is like, yeah, I have my own lipstick, I'm like, can you use this for me, please? Thanks. Kasi, sober long lasting niya. Hindi siya nagiging crunchy sa lips. Tas mukha siyang natural. Tas it's just the best and it's just 200 pesos 
I think this is my third lipstick. Kasi minsan ginagamit ko to sa gym every day. Kung marahin na kayo, if you have dark lips, this is the best shade, I swear. Tapos minsan nga, I'm at the point, pag maititry ako lipstick, and I'm like, you know what? Mm, yeah, it hits different. Tapos babalik ako dito. Because that's how much I like this lipstick. Alright, so moving on to the last lipstick na the best in 2023. This, bitch, every time you see me with a red lipstick. Red lipstick. I love red lipstick, y'all. And I swear, even if it's not Christmas, I don't care. Wear red lipstick. If you're just gonna go to the grocery store, wear red lipstick. If you're just gonna go to the gym, wear red lipstick. It's the sexiest. I feel so powerful. I feel like I'm that bitch. I feel like I can break a man's heart. This lipstick, no 2023 is always my go-to lipstick. I always love red lipstick, especially in that. I love Marilyn Monroe, Taylor Swift. This Ariana Grande is sporting a red lip, babes. Yes, and actually, na predict na natin yun eh. Naka red lipstick ako and I have long blonde hair. I am an Arianator, but it's hard since she's dating SpongeBob. This is the L'Oreal Paris lipstick. I don't know the full name, but whatever. This is in the shade Le Rouge Paris in 420. 420. Ooh. Okay, this is the best red lipstick. I swear. Tas hindi pa siya like the transfer. Imagine that red, tas hindi pa kakalat sa lips mo. I swear, y'all, this is the best. Alam nyo, sa totoo lang ha, pagdating sa Taylor Swift red, di ba sa TikTok trending siya na parang, oh, Pat McGrath, blah, 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 blah. Honestly, don't bother buying the expensive one. Just buy this. This is for me, Taylor Swift red. Like, if you've seen my pictures na naka-red lipstick ako, I'm wearing this. Tapos, every time I meet a sweet girl na mapapapicture, they're like, ano yung red lipstick mo? Ang ganda. And I'm like, babes, it's this one. I'm gonna hoard this kasi it's my favorite. All right, Malcolm. So last product when the things in makeup, of course we have setting sprays, bitch. All right, so I have four setting sprays that really left a mark in me in 2023. First off. Bitch, need I say more? Need I fucking say more? This is the Dazzle Me Get a Grip. I swear, no nag El Nido kami, nag Japan kami. Oh my god, I really love this. It makes your makeup look like skin. It's perfection. It's affordable. It makes my makeup stay on. Tapos alam mo tipo pag dating sa makeup ko nyan nag melt, that's you just retouch it. Ah! I love this! That's it! I'ma just say it. it's the best. Second, ito. This is from Strokes. Kita nyo naman, bawas na bawas siya. I normally use this pag alam kong lalabas ako at mainit. Kasi ang gusto ko dito sa Strokes, this is the Skin Veil Cooling Setting Mist. It's malamig. So super perfect siya pag lalabas ka sa init. I love this. Third, I use this. This is the Eye Meme Power Magnet. Sobrang boss nga siya. Ito yung gamit ko ng Hong Kong kami. Roller coaster kami lahat-lahat. My makeup stayed fucking on, bitch. Then lastly, this is from Get Ready With Me. This is the Radiant version. If you want your photo Photographs to look so dewy. Tapos yung ganito, mas ma enhance pa yung highlight. Get this. When they say radiant, they're not fucking around, babes. They said glow, bitch. Glow more than the sun, bitch. It makes your face so glowy but not oily. Alright, Malka, so moving on to skincare. Alam niyo, no 2023, pagdating sa skincare, I am really meticulous na talaga. I would really give it some time. Like, parang dati kasi whenever I test products, I would test two to three weeks. Ngayon, fuck it. I want it one to two months, bitch, okay? I will take my time. Kaya pagdating sa skincare, usually pagdating sa mga hauls, there are repetitions and then it's not a lot like before. So I really wanna narrow it down. Let's start off first with cleanser. Y'all know this, right? Y'all know this. The chokehold that this have on me since 2022. Now it's 2024. I still use this for already two years now. This is the Nambuzin Deep Clean Fresh Cream Cleanser. This is my favorite cleanser of all time. I tried other cleanser I'm like ugh, it hits different I always keep coming back to this yeah this cleanser two years straight the best cleanser the second cleanser that I've been using this is from Skintific the amino acid one usually I'm the type of person pag sometimes umaga nang hilamas ako I'm looking for something the low pH yung parang hindi ganun ka stripping this one it doesn't strip off my skin usually kasi sa mga low pH parang I don't feel clean like oh my god comment down below kung makarelate kayo I just don't feel clean parang may odd thing like and I don't like it I want my skin to be supple pero malinis yung feels kaya I really like this one kaya tinan yung bawas niya so I usually use this before going to bed, kunyari hindi ako nag makeup, I will use this. Or kunyari, I just woke up, tas gusto ko lang makinamas, I use this as opposed to this one. Alright, Malcolm, so moving on toners. Alam nyo, there's only one toner. Only one, kasi hindi ako matuna, but only one that I like. No 2023. I'm sorry, like all the other toners, I'm sorry. Eh, geez. This is the Nambazin Super Glowing Essence. At kitang kita nyo naman, the way na sobrang bawas na siya. And also, meron ako Italian na fubo na nagustuhan niya din to, so nabudol ko din siya. Ganun siya kaganda. 
Kasi nagustuhan niya din to. So yeah, this one, I really love it. It's more of anti-aging. It gives you more glowing skin. Parang yung ingredients ng Estee Lauder and SK2 hinalo in a more affordable price compared to those expensive na serums. The second, I really enjoyed this. This is the Pons H Miracle Haya Vitamin C Ampule Serum. Ganito siya. You just use half a vial. Oh my God, this will give you the brightest skin if you have dark spots. Bitch, get this. I would describe this nga parang gluta in an ampule. Eh. So parang ilagay mo lang sa skin mo. My God, you will just have like parang naging pa micro needle. Trust me, babes. It's the best. This is one of the best products on Pons. Alright, Marco. So moving on to serums. Speaking of Pons, this is the Pons H Miracle Ultimate Youth Essence. At kitang kita nyo naman. Super boss na. I swear, there are days that I'm just like not in the mood to do skincare. I'll just like wash my face, take off my makeup. This will be my go-to. Because everything is here na eh. You have your niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, you have your retinol. So you don't need to stress out. So if I have like a long day, pagod na ako, I'll just use this. And then pagdating sa traveling, I'll just use this. Obviously, it's the best. Then moving on, we have a couple of serums here. I have here, I really love this one too. This is the Skin 1004 Centelia Tone Brightening Capsule Ampule. This is more of brightening. And I swear, my skin has been so bright and super... I don't know if you notice now, mas maliwalas ako tignan. Girl, get the serum. It's the best. If you have also oily skin. I normally use this sa umaga eh. Kasi I have different serums sa umaga and then different yung mga ginagamit ko sa gabi. This one, I normally use this in the morning. Tapos sinasabayan ko siya with this one. This is the Lux Organics Vita C20 Booster. This is more vitamin C. Two drops, I rub and then I pat it on my face. The best. Like, I always want something brightening pag dating sa umaga. Then one of the serums I really enjoyed as well, again, two years in a row. This is the Numbuzzin Deep Sleep Mask. Actually, bago to. I also like the number two, which I don't have it here. Why? Kasi ubus na. And I'll put a picture here. Kasi ubus na, ganun ko siya ka gusto. I've been using it for two years na. Nag-start ako gumamit ng Numbuzzin noong 2022 of October. Until now, I still use it. To the point, bago na to, I'm trying other products but I just want to mention this six and number two the best then also one of my favorite discovery this year pagdating sa serum I really really like this one this is the Cosr X six peptide skin booster this is a serum tas ganyan siya kadami so sobrang sulit niya so if you're on a budget and you don't want to buy too much products babes you're fine this is like 150 ml for a serum so sulit yung pera mo dito and then pagdating sa skincare for me I'm all about peptide retinol ceramides protein kasi I'm trying to avoid aging babes like I'm not getting any younger so so yeah, but I mean, you know, pag dating sa old content ko versus now, mas bata na ako tignan ngayon, be. Compared dati, di ba? Speaking of anti-aging, if you're struggling with hollow under eyes, I really recommend this. This is the Lumi Volifilin. You just need one dot or you can mix it with your eye cream. I swear, this is so good. Ayan, ginamit ko na naman siya, tinan nyo. Nawala na yung hollowness ko dito. Pero nga lang, heads up, the results, hindi siya permanent. If you stop using it, babalik siya. Kasi I noticed before, nung like, Hong Kong kami, before ako umalis ng Hong Kong, lumalalim na naman siya ulit. Tapos, I went back to using this again. Ayan. Nawala ulit yung hollowness dito. Tapos, yun. If you stop using this, medyo babalik yung under eyes mo. I always mix it with my eye cream. So, yeah. And then, I have two eye creams here that I really enjoyed. When it's my retinol day, I use this one. This is the Lux Organics Retinol Bakuchil. My retinol days is usually Sunday. Sunday lang ako nag-retinol. Tapos, sa retinol ko, babes, tinan nyo. B, sobra tagal na nito. Ayan, this is my only retinol. This is from Good Molecules. Then my everyday under eye cream. I always use under eye cream at night, and this is already two years ko na siyang gamit ba? And this is one of the best. Honestly, I want to try other eye creams, pero I keep coming back to this because it's super And paubus na ngato eh, which normally it's almost hard to finish an eye cream because you're just using onting dots. But babes, believe me, paubus na siya. Like look at that. So ayon, this is the AHC Luminous Glow Real Eye Cream for face. One of the best. If you're looking for a really good eye cream, get this. I've been using it for two years. Tinan nyo naman. Mukha ba siyang stress? Hindi. Then the next serum I have here, oh my god, this is my favorite, bitch. Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. This will give you very even skin tone. Sobrang bright. Nakala mo paderma ka. I love this. It's the best. Honestly, if I were to buy this again, I'll get the jumbo size. Ganun ko siya ka gusto. The next product I really like, this is the Numbuzzin Vitamin Niacinamide Concentrated Pad. This one is more brightening. Again, I'm all about brightening. This has glutathione, niacinamide, and vitamin C. Sobrang ganda nito. They even have a serum version which I highly recommend. The reason why wala siya ngayon kasi naubos ko siya. And natinamin bawas nito. Sobrang bawas na siya, girl. Tinan niyo. Puno na yun eh, pero mm. 
the way I use this, you can either use it like a toner, but for me, I normally use this on my self care day, which is Sunday. I will put it on my face. Gagawin ko siyang mask. Yung ipapatong ko siya dito, dito, tas ibababad ko siya. There you go. Then, pagdating sa moisturizer, hindi ako masyadong mga moisturizer yung cream. I only use cream moisturizers at night, and there's only one I like. Babes, nambazin, I swear, the way they have a chokehold on me this 2023 and 2023, insane. I'm all about Korean skincare. Like, I really love Korean skincare. We have here, this is the nambazin daily multivitamin cream number five. Tinan nyo naman. May dent na siya. Everything is here. Vitamin C, lahat. If you just research this product, all the ingredients is here. Then, the next moisturizer I use pag umaga, kasi I like gel. Ayoko nung cream kasi mainit. This is the Skintific Barrier Moisture Cream. Ugh, this is the best. Sometimes yung ginagawa ko dito na sa ref siya. Then I put it on my face. Oh my god. Then I get those the cryo globes sa mila masas ko face ko. Ugh, perfect way to start the day. Afternoon you have your coffee. Ugh, sobrang ganda nito. I really enjoy this one. Then lastly, the Mama Curl skincare is not complete. Of course, we have sunscreen, our obsession to avoid aging, babes. Pagdating sa sunscreen, I am super maarte to the point na this 2023 I only have five sunscreens. Whenever I'm gonna go out, tapos I have to wear makeup, I don't normally use yung mga sunscreen na liquid. I normally use stick sunscreens. The ones that I use, this one's 3CE. I really like this one. And I also like Tohobo. Usually, pag nagtatravel ako, I use Tohobo. Kasi parang ako kasi, ano, tinatamad ako mag-ganon, tapos yung mag-blend two fingers. Just like fucking put that shit on. You know what I mean? Like rub it on. Kaya normally, I use stick sunscreen. Kasi minsan, pagdating sa liquid sunscreen, tinatamad ako. When I put it on my face, I have to wait for it to dry before I put my makeup on. And I'm like, ugh. You know what? Especially for on the go, may mga trips na you have to wake up early kasi magkikita ka yung breakfast and stuff like that. But, the things sa sunscreen na hindi stick na parang liquid or cream or whatever you want to call it, these are my top. This is Round Lab sunscreen. Bitch, it's so good. I swear. A chef's kiss. It looks so good with makeup on if I have the time if I'm not lazy, but this one's so good. The second, this is my second bottle. Kasi na ubus kung isa. This is my second one. Like as you can see, pa ubus na naman to. This is Skin 1004. Basta the sunscreen, the Haya, whatever sunscreen. This is my second bottle. Just so you know, I really love this one. Sobra moisturizing. Perfect sa weather, whether it's hot or too cold. Kasi my skin gets dry. Oh my God, babe, is this what 27 feels like? Your skin gets dry. So again, I'm like combination again. I get dry, it's oily, and I'm sweaty. Why? So yeah, this one, I really enjoyed this. Sobrang ganda sunscreen. Then the last one, pag I'm really pinatamad, tapos when we're traveling, I'm like, you know what? Screw this shit. See, I'm gonna be fucking for real right now. Like, just leave me the fuck alone. Skintific. Ito yung sunscreen nila na spray. Travel size ko na sa maleta. I'm not gonna get it. This is really nice. I normally use this pag kunyan na nagka-travel kami, especially for the beach. Pag tinatamad ako mag-ano, sunscreen, I'm like, shh! Call it a freaking day, babes. So this one's so good. If you're like a sunscreen girlie and you're so lazy, babes, just use this. You're good. All right, Mel Curl. So that concludes the best of 2023. Makeup and skincare. This is just part one, babes. What do you guys think? Like, comment down below which of the products are you most likely going to get. And also, comment down below if you remember some of these products that I mentioned and talked about. And I know I tried my best na bilisan to kasi this is probably the biggest best of haul ko sa buong taon ko sa social media this is like the biggest it's like a lot I'm hoping naman yung mga edit neto hindi ganun kahaba yung vlog but yeah and also mga girls I hope you have the best 2024 2023 was really good sending good energy here for 2024 cause we are not welcoming negative vibes don't play with me bitch and of course mga girls I hope you found this video interesting and helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also join our giveaway dun sa decluttering curl so you guys can win free products and of course mga girls Girls, very important is to stay machine cap, my mother. How's it keep? Bye, guys.